not letting it up. Oh, that is sensational. Has he done enough, Foxes? Oh, that is a big spin. It's five lights, and away we go. It's an unusual camera position to get things started, but that being said, what a jump in the, uh, the opening corners here from Fresh Agent all the way up to P3. At the moment, there's been some chopping and changing a little bit further back. We've got Sterling up a position. We've got AJ up a position. Lager moving back down into P10. Tempo finds himself up in P8 already. He's going to be challenging Salau for P7. Oh, it's down the inside. Oh, and he's out. Oh, no, is that that's surely going to be a full course safety car? It is. The safety car is out. Oh, is that too much of an opportune dive? Are we going to end up seeing an onboard replay of that later on as part of the stewarding? The debutant is out. Oh my goodness me, we were on board with Tempo, who is making the move down on the inside. Um, AI, um, ideally not, only for um, legitimate reason. Um, we do expect and anticipate drivers to control the car and take, um, uh, take control of the car for the majority of the safety car period. Um, I understand things can happen, but um, yeah, you are there to drive the car. Uh, not AI it and tire worn in that way uh, for a competitive advantage. All right. Oh, goodness me. Tempo finds out he's up in P6 at the moment. The safety car is waiting. That is not the debut that our man would have wanted. Whether it's uh, a big lock up. Going into the corner, Tempo was definitely making uh, a, a bold move down onto the inside. It looked like, whilst we were on board, it looked like he had uh, enough room at least to kind of make uh, make an interesting spectacle of it through that particular corner. But, oh, goodness me, drama on the opening lap of this Azerbaijan uh, GP. Let's have a little look at the top. Snaxy then is currently in P1, agent behind Ultra P3, it's looking good, Rob finds himself in the pits, he is, uh, he's boxed and is uh, on some medium tyres, maybe a little bit of damage uh, for him, a little bit of locked wheels, a bit of overcompensation and, uh, and bumpage, oosh. There we go. It's all about those opening exchanges um, in that f in that first lap. It's always uh, it's tricky. It's always uh, a trick. We knew that Baku was going to throw up some uh, some spice, but we're going to have a few laps here of this safety car. Hopefully, not too much, considering the grid is fairly bunched together already. Um, it shouldn't be too long um, before uh, before the safety car comes in. It will probably be likely, com obviously completing this lap, and then with a little bit of luck, it comes in on the very, very next one. Looks like it's getting slightly, uh, slightly busy and slightly close in terms of the safety car in this uh, this mid pack. Got to be careful and give uh, plenty of space. Certainly going through a, a few of these corners. Even under safety car conditions, you get it slightly wrong. That's you done and uh, and in the wall. Let's have a look at the position change that we have seen so far. The big winner here is Matty C. 
He's up seven positions into PA. He has maximized his opportunities on lap one. Kingy is up the the biggest, uh, I was going to say the biggest loser. That's probably not the nicest way to put it, but with some potential damage early doors, we have Rob down in P13, who has, uh, has gone from pole position, a stunning qualifying. He finds himself now near the back of the grid and having to fight his way through. It's going to be a long race very very long race for him but uh, with a few things going his way I'm sure he will start making uh, making a go of it here we go then safety car master Mason retiring as well not sure what on earth is, uh, has happened there it looks like he's uh, he's locked up and gone into the wall under the safety car Oh my goodness me, that is, uh, that's not the greatest look for Mason, who has been fantastic in qualifying, as, as we've said throughout, kind of going about his business, putting in some good laps, had a real genuine opportunity for some really, really good points, and uh, what seems to be a bit of a basic mistake and safety car conditions has cost him his race. And uh, and some probably some very very valuable points. Not what he wanted. It means a little bit easier to get up to the front for some of these cars a bit further down. But everybody is up at the moment. Tempo up five places. Sterling up a place. Ultra has stood his ground in P3. Asian got the run there on two drivers, but the Flying Dutchman getting all Max Verstappen-esque in that red ball at the front of the pack. With a little bit of luck, I am uh, I'm imagining the safety car is going to be coming in this lap and we can get going with what will hopefully be 23 full laps of intense racing action. There we go, we've got it. Safety car is in this lap so snacks not sure if you can hear me but obviously uh, be mindful obviously around that final corner and making sure that you are going at a, a sensible uh, spot it's uh, it's a decent bit of time here until the safety car actually reaches the pit lane in all fairness it's, th it's still not even there yet cars obviously starting to get bunched up they're ready to hit the throttle at what point you go though this is the thing particularly here at Baku because of the length of that back straight you don't want to go too soon all you're going to do is open yourself up for a potential overtake so Snacks is doing the sensible thing here and getting a little bit closer towards that line before opening up the throttle which he has done here it's a good restart he maintains his lead Ooh, a little wobble going through turn one there but he holds on nicely he's gonna be feeling the pressure because agent behind him is gonna uh, is gonna be smelling blood he's gonna be wanting the lead in this race it looks like he's making some potential moves for it thinks better of it looks like some battles a bit further back as well AJ and Lager getting close I mean it's close up and down at the grid. AJ as well. I think he's, he's certainly making a few moves. Oh, goodness me. Oh, what's going on there? AJ and Red Dog certainly come into blows in P8 and P9. AJ gets the move done on those hard tyres. Red Dog P9, Reading P10. I think we saw in the background they're hitting the wall a little bit. Key P11, Lager goes back even further. Has he got himself a little bit of damage? He does. Look at that front left, front wing. He's got some damage. I believe he started on the hard tyres as well. So surely this is going to uh, going to dictate his strategy. Get the car into the pits. New front wing. Get on some mediums. Probably a medium, medium to the end of this race. If we do not get any more safety cars. Who else have we got that's looking racy? Tempo at the moment has Sterling in his sights. Oh, hits the wall. Is that caused some damage? We're not going to have DRS available just yet, but he's going to use the ears that he's got and get the move done. Although I think Sterling's are going to be going to come back at him 
in exactly the same way. Oh, it's close between them. Sterling is smart, though. Thinks better of getting, uh, sticking a front wing into the mix there with Tempo. Finding himself up a P4. Oh, a little bit deep from Sterling. Is that going to give Matty C a little bit of run here in this Mercedes? DRS is wide open. Doesn't look like Sterling can quite combat it. It's going to be close. He's got enough. He's earned enough to get some space. Matty C making some serious moves in the back of the grid here. Up to P5. Sterling has missed out a little bit here, but it's been some very, very opportunistic moves from both the Mercedes and the Kick Sauber. Snacks as well, all of a sudden, now finds himself in P3. He's gone from leading this race to the space of half a lap with the DRS, with the closeness of the cars. He now sits in P3. Teammate ahead of him, agent in P1, kind of just uh, holding the pack a little bit. Tempo catching up to the back of them too. Rob is not too far behind. He's got two and a half seconds to get up to Sterling. This is going to be an exciting next five laps or so. As uh, the car starts to kind of span out, find the pace. I think we're going to find ourselves in the midst of uh, a little bit of a lengthy DRS train here. And uh, hopefully a, uh, a decent amount of overtakes. Oh, what a fantastic camera angle that was. Cars flying through the slalom. You can see Ultra is using an, a huge amount of his airs. Now I admit I've not done a lot of uh, longer lap racing here. So I'm not quite sure what the recovery levels are like. But I can imagine they're not they're not fantastic. You're on throttle for a, a decent decent part of it. But that being said, you know, a few heavy braking zones. There goes that DRS. Oh, agents not giving up. Likely they're going to be side by side. Oh, they're using every single inch of that racetrack. Ultra will have the inside line. Do they touch? I'm not sure if they touch there, but it looked a bit close. Tempo and Snacks both waiting in the wings. This has got the uh, the hallmarks of, uh, of a little bit of uh, a bit of touchy touchy uh, wheelie rubby. Should we uh, should we say? Got to keep it sensible through the castle section. No damage there. Everyone clean. Oh, the rear of that McLaren from Agent was really, really kicking out. Goodness gracious me. This is uh, this is going to be close. This top four at the moment, I think, are going to be finding themselves in very, very close proximity to each other for a significant part of this race. Matty C is starting to catch up sterling is being uh, is being hounded by rob in uh, in p6 p7 rob setting a purple sector two at the moment he holds the fastest lap of the race he's still got a solid amount of errors and surely that is going to get used here to get the overtake done on sterling tempo getting past ultra a bit further up the grid 41.616 the fastest lap of the race so far it's chopping and changing expect more of this as uh, the length of these DRS zones mean that these guys are going to be able to stay very very close to one another what it does mean one mistake the entire sort of landscape of this race completely changes Kingy in the RB now getting, uh, getting lapped so the front runners starting to make some headway on some of the uh, some of the back markers. Um, unbelievable speed at the moment. So we've got six tenths between P1 and two, two tenths between two and three, half a second, three and four. Rob and Matt E C and Sterling all very very close to each other. So the top seven are all vying for an opportunity for a podium at the moment. We are only seven laps in to what is going to be a very, very exciting 26 lap race. And if we're going to get full, full force racing from now until the end of this Azerbaijan Grand Prix, then I think we are in for a treat. So much pressure 
on every single lap at the moment. It's it's one mistake. It's one one bit of oversteer. Those walls are not too far away, and the, you, the chances of you losing that position are only going to go up. Let's have a look here on board the helicopter cam. We've got Callum Ultra. I think he's going to get overtaken by his teammate. He does. Rob sets another fastest lap of 41. 0.302 that man is putting in some crazy lap times at the moment to get stuck in to uh, to the pack is purple j dnfs is it a safety car i think it is it is safety car is out on circuit the race is now neutralized that being said, again, I don't think it's going to be a long safety car because all of these drivers are incredibly close to one another. Goodness me, AJ comes into the pits. Little front wing change on with some medium tyres. Away he goes to rejoin the grid. I don't think it's going to cost him any places. Who else have we got in? Red Dog comes in. In the Alpine again. New front wing. Fresh set of tyres on his car. What has he gone for? It looks like that is white wall tyres. It looks like he has. He has gone on to mediums there. So tempo at the moment. After a round of, uh, of overtakes and DRS. And all the things that make these races exciting. He finds himself in P1 at the moment agent settling in in p2 both red bulls on that second row of the grid aj oh aj gets a time penalty for speeding under the safety car that is uh less than uh, than nice to see Everyone's starting to catch up with the safety car. Hopefully, just like last time, we find ourselves just getting one uh, one or two laps. A few drivers coming into the pit lane. Rob comes in, and I think Matty C as well. Actually, the entirety find themselves coming in. Rob, a 10-second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, we were on board with him, and he accelerated right at the point that he was coming up to uh, to the marker not quite sure what he was doing there goes on to some fresh hards by the looks of it snacks on mediums I'm not sure what Matty C has gone on let's have a look and see what tyres people have put themselves on so fresh medium tyres for the Flying Dutchman there sitting in P5 everyone else boxing Sterling the only man that is staying out at the moment finds himself in the lead of this Azerbaijan Grand Prix he is on eight lap old mediums I don't think he is boxed at all he has not he is yet to stop so okay it's an interesting strat maybe he's gonna uh Look to see the safety car out, get onto some hard tyres and see if he can do a job holding the guys up here after this safety car. Restart, riding into the pit as well. So the majority of the guys coming in. Now at this stage of the race, I'm not quite sure if medium tyres are going to be able to go the full distance. I think they will, but it will be... It'll be tough. It will be tough. I, I can't imagine they're going to be in fantastic condition nearer the end. I would argue if we don't get any more safety cars, being on the harder tyres is going to be really quite advantageous. It takes a bit of time to get them up to temperature and actually kind of the, the grip coming out of them. But when they do, um, they're a solid race tyre. Uh, trying to overtake in the pit lane. I mean, yeah, this is it. It's, it's uh, the opportunity was there. I think. Um, I mean, you were safe. You you were safe. Um, say safe uh, with with where you are. Unfortunately, it's cost you the uh, cost you the time penalty. Although I think with that with that time penalty, you can serve that in your next pit stop. So look, if 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 that happens again, you will get that opportunity. 
how likely are we going to get the uh, get the grid all caught up? I I think we're going to get everybody, oh, everybody caught up here. We have uh, just a few drivers uh, about to catch up to the pack. AJ the first. Lager, okay, maybe not. Lager comes into the uh, the pit lane. What does he go on to? Looks like he's serving his penalty as well. Down he go. Was it front wing change? I couldn't see. I couldn't see the front of the car there. I think he had some damage. So I think that's what it was rather than uh, the anything penalty base. Hard tyres then for Lager. I'd say that's uh, a good chat. Uh, if someone is deleting messages, then you might want to uh, maybe change the the tact of your messages. It might be uh, being done for a reason, Evo. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So Lager is out on some fresh, hard rubber. Uh, finds himself going past Reading. Not sure. Oh, Reading cannot park there. There we go, Reading. Back on track in uh, in the right way. So we've got Lager and Reading. I think the uh, the ones looking. Oh, excuse me, looking to catch up to the safety car. Not sure if the safety car is going to call it um, in terms of of coming in this lap. I'd like to see it. I think there's been uh, there's, there's been enough time. With the safety car out, hopefully we are going to get the notification as we come round these final couple of corners. Although we are obviously waiting on uh, on that final McLaren, which I think may end up, yeah, holding it for another lap. Uh, also, gents, I will just say uh, you are meant to be in control of your F1 cars. I'd rather you were doing that than typing in chat. It's. Uh, but when I say that you guys need to drive the car, typing in chat is not an important circumstance for you to not be driving the car. It looks like we are going to be going again then with uh, with Reading needing to get onto the back of the pack. It's going to be lap 12 that the Azerbaijan Grand Prix gets underway in its entirety. So there going to be a few laps on these new tyres that the majority of the grid have put themselves onto. It's going to be close, obviously DRS not available immediately. Spicy! So, the current order as it stands. Sterling in the Williams then. He currently leads this Grand Prix. He is yet to box. Tempo in the Salva P2. Agent in P3. Rob in P4. But does find himself with the time penalties. The Flying Dutchman of IIRL Snacks. P5. Manny C making good strides to get up to P6. But Ultra in that Red Bull. He'll, uh, he'll be putting some pressure on him. That is for certain. AJ is sitting there nicely in P8. Red Dog Lager 9th and 10th in those final point scoring positions. We've now got the entirety of the grid all caught up. So I think we will be getting the safety car in this lap, which is what we want to see. We want to see some racing. I'm going to say it out loud now, and I know I shouldn't. I really know I shouldn't because you don't want to jinx anything, but... No incidents at the castle. No one has binned it there. I'm going to say it out loud and almost talk it into, into being for what might make it uh, an interesting race. But no one yet to get it wrong through that castle section. Here we go then. Notification as expected. Safety car is in this lap. Uh, as always, certainly a safe getaway uh, required. Be careful, obviously, backing everyone up. Be careful, certainly, through the slalom sections and stuff like that. It, there is, it's very, very possible to go too slow as, um, as the de facto safety car. It's a, it's a tricky balancing act. 
I've got to say, uh, you know, not to blow, blow my own trumpet and say that I've had to do uh, a fair share of safety car restarts, but obviously you're limited at times when it comes to the Delta um, as to what we can do. But what is very interesting there is how early Sterling has put his foot to the floor. I'll tell you one thing, it has paid off. The boys behind are going to be on some fresh tyres and are definitely going to be putting some pressure on Sterling. But he has floored it at a part of the circuit I don't think anyone was anticipating. It was a very, very bold move. Tempo then. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's having a peak. Not quite there yet. He's almost pushing that Williams along. He just needs to bide his time. Bide his time. Wait for some DRS. The opportunity will come. We're going to have a... Uh, a very, very bold man, Sterling. Very, very bold indeed. It's going to be a very, very close collection of cars. Certainly this opening exchanges. The only real gap here is between AJ and, uh, and Matty C. AJ working his way up through to the castle section. Callum Ultra is going to be hot on his heels as we go down at that main uh, main straight at the back. Red Dog, three seconds back. Lager looking to make some moves on Red Dog, safely negotiating the castle section. Coming up to, uh, to this downhill, tricky, breaking spot. It's clean. Red Dog, lots of front locking through that corner. Let's see if Lager has the minerals on what are some fresh set of rubber. What's happening up at the front? Tempo and Rob, both Saubers and Agent all find themselves getting past Sterling. That is the most unbelievable blend of Slipstream and ERS. That is just, it's unbelievable. Snacks as well, I think, now finding himself ahead of Sterling, perhaps the aging tyres that Sterling finds himself on are just starting to catch up with him. Matty C making a move down the inside. He's earned the space. He's got the car ahead. He does it. Very, very nice move from Matty C to get up into P5. I think Sterling at this point is going to be needing to get into the pit lane, maybe box for some hard tyres and get himself there ready for the end of this race he'll be looking for a solid point haul it was a, a bold effort lager gets the move done further down the grid on red dog we saw that he was fighting red dog in the alpine who oh that's a big big hit with the wall i think that is going to be his front wing gone and safety car deployed once again i think that might well be for the accident that we saw, I'm not quite sure why that has that's caused a safety car. Certainly considering, yeah, I think that should absolutely have been. I think that that needed be only a, a VSE rather than a full core safety car. But look, fingers crossed, this won't be too long. Considering that the cars are relatively bunched up, both the Sauber boys then in p1 and p2 at the moment are we going to see any changes in the pit lane this is actually a huge huge plus for this man on your screen sterling needed to pit he was definitely lost out during that last safety car period so he's going to come in surely hard to sorry I beg your pardon. Sterling. Okay. I, uh, uh I, I, I have just lost money, chat. Okay. I have just lost money in that uh, Sterling has gone on to soft tyres. That was not the expectation in any way shape or form considering that we have oh what's that the 12 laps to go just a little bit under half of this race wow okay 
very, 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 very bold for him to do so. Unless, unless he's tricking all of us here, chat. What if, because at the minute he finds himself P9, there is a 34 second gap to Reading behind. Is he going to box again? Is he putting on soft tyres to then box again and put on another set of medium tyres? Which would last him to the end of the race. Which he can do under safety car conditions right now. It will not cost him a place and means that he is then firmly equipped to go all the way to the end. Is that what he's doing? Is Sterling being cleverer than I thought? It's not like he's doing a huge amount in terms of tyre warming. Which, though, then again, I suppose if you are on soft tyres, you don't want to do a huge amount right now. Is, is, this, is this a mildly big brain play that we're seeing right here? I think he, you can see he's close to the gap, like to the back, because he wants to maximise and make sure he's not losing any time. Is he pitting or no? No, he's not. What the the man? can t oh, I have got this. So <laughs> I give up. I have got this so so wrong. I really thought that was what she was gonna do. Wow, I, I, that that's. That's what I thought. Looks like he, he's he's gonna do yeah, maybe two lots of double, double softs. Maybe he's banking on um, on, on another safety car. I'm, I don't know. What I do know is is it's, it's getting a little bit close and a bit tight here with some of the cars. Obviously, be mindful, drivers. That um, yeah, it's good, good to have a little bit of space between you and some of the the drivers in front of you. Okay. Now what I'd like to see, hopefully, is that Reading, where he is, can catch up with the grid and we can get the safety car in this lap. I'd like to see that happen. I'm not sure if we're going to get the opportunity, but oof, soft tyres for Sterling. That is, that is not expected. S uh, sorry, Snacks has done it as well. Another huge talking point. Snacks in P8. He is, has gone on to soft tyres as well. Now, I, this is what I, I thought was going to be the way they do it. Maybe put on the softs and then go back in and put the next lap because it wouldn't cost them a position. But, wow. It is, it's it's going to be really tricky. There's, uh, there's, I do not envisage any way that they're going to be able to to make them go the distance even under safety car conditions it looks like we're going to get another lap of the safety car Reading I don't think is going to catch up with them um, early enough um, unfortunately so I think we are going to get another lap under the safety car so it's going to be lap 17 that we get underway and racing in its fullest. Oh, only a few seconds in it before uh, before Reading actually caught up to uh, to everybody. That's the thing. Robin P two obviously has that time penalty, so it's going to be um, it's going to be tricky. I think Kingy is retiring in the pit lane. Wow. If, if I'm looking here, up and down the grid, I mean, I mean, the top five are in exactly the same situation, all on hard tyres, all pitting at the same time, and they will comfortably go uh, until the end of the race. AJ on mediums, eight lap old. I mean, even under the safety car, I think he's going to struggle nearer the end on those medium tyres. Um, mm, Lager, 11 lap old hard tyres. I mean, they sh they sh I'd like to think they, they should go all the way to the end, but 
Again, again, just depends on your tire deck, doesn't it? But P8, P9, Sterling and Snacks on the softs. All the S's. Ooh. We could end up seeing one of the craziest and one of the greatest strategy calls that we might ever have seen in the history of the BFL. I'll be completely honest. I don't think so. <laughs> But I am more than willing and want to be proven wrong here. It'd be, oh, it'd be fascinating to see. It really, really would be. But it's a big, big, big ask. Oh, that doesn't belong in my eyes. Goodness me. Here we go then, as expected, safety car is in this lap, we have tempo. Come with a new safety car, obviously all drivers be careful because it does automatically slow you down the moment that it does say that it's coming in and it's probably not the best place actually on circuit to do that, right when you're kind of bunching up through a braking zone, it's, it's not ideal. Safety car thunders off into the distance, we've got both the kick salvers then looking to get things moving he's holding it in p5 when is tempo going to go here we go then up through the gears a fairly progressive start and aj is disqualified for ignoring the drive-through penalty It wasn't green for you to serve it. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure what's that. Uh, either way, speaking of green, the kick salvers up front still maintain the lead. Where have we got moves happening? Sterling and Snacks on those softs. They are making them count. The moves they are making here, the, the grip and the extra speed that they have got, but surely that's, uh, that's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough for those tyres to go the full distance here. Snacks finds himself uh, overtaking. Oh, what's happening here? It looks like we, we had a car ghosted, maybe a little bit of a wobble. Is that damage to Matty C? Oh, Lager, I think has crashed another safety car. Goodness me. Are we going to get any? Oh, I'm not sure we're going to get any driving here. Goodness gracious me. Another retirement here. Baku is Killing everyone. Goodness gracious me. That is uh, a car just stopped turning. The uh, the understeer will get you um, on this. You honestly like this Baku circuit feels different than it does on other games for exactly that reason. It feels like there is more understeer. Uh, through certain corners and almost the car just not wanting to, to turn look at this diving into the pits here but what are people going to go on uh, a little bit of, of craziness happening in the pit lane which is yeah not what we we expect to see don't tell me it's going to be soft tyres all the way round for everyone goodness gracious me that is uh, that is not expected. Red Dog is in front wing change. Ultra on softs. Good look at this. Everyone moving onto the softs for what is likely going to be the final phase, the kind of final five lap showdown of the race. So Redding's on new softs as well. Rob. Comes out of the pit lane, P9, puts himself on new mediums. I, ooh, uh, even with the safety car, I think that might actually be the stronger play here. Um, throw the car around a little bit. I mean, are, are the softs going to go the, the full distance here? And, and, and still be half decent? I mean, I'd like to think so. But they gotta be gotta be careful with them under safety car conditions. Can't get too too crazy with them. The good news is the majority of the grid is uh, is all caught up 
and uh, and pretty much there. So um, I think we're only going to get one full lap of this safety car before it comes in. Which is never a bad thing. So we've got a few drivers that have been struggling with understeer. So the retirements so far are Lager, Kingy, Purple J, Master Mason, Solow and AJ with the DSQ. Felt more of a weird issue. Couple turns, turns it before it was hypersensitive. And then castle section didn't turn whatsoever. Ooh. But it's definitely, uh, it's, it's one thing I've noticed oddly about, um, and I think it is to do with this circuit, and I think it's grip. In general, it's, I know I'm not the only one when I say that the, it, this circuit feels different on this game. It feels a lot, considering the cars are a lot pointier, there's certain corners that feel a lot more understeery. For example, that 90 degree right hander before you get to the castle section, that seems like crazy. It almost feels like I'm, I'm coming back upon myself to bloody make the corner. It's, um,. Yeah, turn two as well feels uh, a lot tighter than it should. Who's that coming into the pit lane? Matty C, I think, into the pits. Has he got has he got wing damage? He does. Look at that. Front right. Front wing change. On go mediums. It will stay P9 and it will catch up with the grid. So the safety car, with some luck, will still be coming in. At the end of this lap, I have no doubt that Matty C will be able to make up that time and will be able to get the racing underway. Which, well, let's let's be honest here, chat viewers, it has been dominated by this safety car. Uh, a plethora of incidents happening on circuit. Which, well, I, I certainly know there's going to be a few drivers amongst those non-finishers who will have uh, expected more of themselves but if it finishes this way it means all drivers set to get points You've got a Manny C in P9 brand new mediums he's going to be alongside Rob they are going to be uh, going to be pushing themselves to try and get through the grid You've got Reading and Red Dog P6 P7 Ultra P5 Sterling P4 Snacks P3 Asian P2 Tempo in P1 all fingers crossed that we are going to get to see uh, an exciting six lap shootout for the podium places it is uh, yeah, a, cha a chain reaction of safety cars throughout this race I get the feeling when this gets uh, uploaded to you if you're watching this on YouTube by the way in the future hi um, I think I'm going to have to put some chapters down for for safety car start and end so that people can miss the boring bits of me chatting. There we go, safety car is in at the moment. Yeah, this is it. I get the feeling that mediums are going to be a slightly better call, but we were saying it was going to be about six laps or so that I think the softs are ideal for. So look, that they're going to have the opportunity and we're going to find out. But the top five, at least, are all in the same boat. With Rob and Matty C on those mediums, are going to be looking to uh, to make a couple places and try and get in the mix. Tempo. I, th I quite like the way he's restarting this, just keeping the car a fairly even keel. Down into turn one, then. We are back underway. It is green flag racing. Ignore the safety car sign in the top left corner that's just a, a fantastic uh, a fantastic bug from uh, from all things EA Sterling what a drive from him at the moment sitting in P4 late he's going to be under pressure from the Red Bull behind him but we know this man can hold his own he's certainly impressed in qualifying with uh, a few fantastic laps he was sitting in P3 for a decent period of that Q3 session but I have no doubts that Callum Ultra is going to be eyeing up an overtake on that Williams in the oncoming few corners no position changes uh, uh, actually I tell a lie both Rob and Matty C find themselves getting past Red Dog and Redding 
on the opening salvos after the restart. Both of them are going to be wanting to try and catch up, but they are right on the back here of uh, this leading pack. It is close. Less than a second separating each driver at each interval from P1 all the way down to P7. But look at the gap here. At the top, oh, Agent, the rear of the car, really kicking out. That's going to cost him a little bit of time. You can see the gap that's forming here. See, almost getting out of eyesight is the gap between Tempo leading this race and Agent in P2. It is it's a good position to be in if you are Tempo right now at 40.248. This DRS it gets enabled. 40.248. That is a very, very solid lap. From Tempo. Soft tyres, though. Uh, are they really going to go the distance? Are we really going to be able to get strong competitive driving on these soft tyres for the, the rest of this race? Surely. Surely they're going to wobble. Surely they're going to. Uh, one of these drivers is going to get undone here. It is so, so close between them. Look at this. Look at the collection of cars that we've got from P2 down to P7. There is very little that is separating them. Meanwhile, Tempo is opening up that gap at the front. He just needs to keep it keep it steady. Just do his thing. Needs to uh, needs to be measured. Just go about... Well, just do exactly what he's doing. That gap, 3.7 seconds. Goodness me. Agent is uh, is being a little bit of uh, not necessarily an obstacle here, but I think with the rear of the car kicking out, it's creating uh, a bit of a train here. Fresh train 47 is what I'm seeing in the chat. I like that, but it just goes to show like how close all of these drivers are. They're on the same tire. Tempo is just seemingly in a league of his own at the moment. The the length of that gap, he has thrown together some unbelievable corners. In these opening few laps this is where things get interesting i remember myself driving here in baku a, a three-way shot into turn one ended in disaster a 39 374 goodness me that is a, a hell of a lap into turn one then goes snacks gets the move done on fresh agent callum ultra surely wanted to have a little bit of a sniff for that final podium spot. That is a fantastic camera angle running through there. Now, Rob is on the mediums at the moment, and I would argue the guys in the mediums are going to be feeling a little bit better. Oh, Agent definitely having a look on, uh, on Snacks to, to reclaim that P2 position. And this is the difference. Whilst there is a few laps left, both Rob and Matty C, being on those medium tyres, are going to have the ability and the confidence to throw the car into the corners a bit more. The grip is going to be there. There's not going to be the same level of degradation. So just, just I think, in pure confidence, the fact that in some ways they've kind of got nothing to lose here, potentially a lot to gain, it's probably the seat that I would, uh, I'd prefer to be sitting in rather than one of these front runners on the softs at the moment. That being said, goodness me, look at this battle that is happening between these two here. It's always these two, isn't it? Agent and Ultra, two absolute veterans of the Blue Fox F1 League. As you know, we say it every single week. Callum Ultra in this Red Bull, the highest point scorer in the history of the Blue Fox F1 League. The man is an absolute demon, and these two always seem to find each other on track, produce some amazing racing action between them. This Baku GP is going to be no different. DRS surely going to open here. Rob's looking to have a move. Oh, this could get really, really, really dicey here. Hopefully everything is clean. Oh, just about. Oh, goodness gracious me. There is some crazy position changes happening. As we head down into turn one, I almost sort of don't know where to look. I don't know what is uh, what is going to be happening here, but Rob on those medium tyres finds himself up to P3, Ultra 4th, Agent now P5, Matty C now putting some pressure on him from P6, Sterling commanding that P7 position, we've got a yellow caution, who's that down at uh, turn 1, it looks like Red Dog in the Alpine having a, a bit of an accident and it's caused another safety car 
which is going to be out for one lap and one lap only given the fact that we are on lap 23 of 26 still do not know why it is throwing out a full course safety car there that really only needed to be a VSE considering the the position of, of everyone on that yeah really not quite sure but it's the situation that we find ourselves in surely no driver is going to be boxing here not going to be enough time to make an impact on fresh tires gonna have tempo though this is this is the thing with tempo he's built up that gap to nearly five seconds ahead of him and uh, it, it's all going to be whisked away you're going to have snacks that's going to be close his teammate rob that's going to be close bearing in mind he has uh, served his time penalty so everything is going to be for position and now that it's lap 24, it is my understanding, and I'm sure you guys in the chat are confident as well, it is, uh, there has to be two laps worth, two full laps of racing uh, take place at the end of the race. So as far as I am concerned here, uh, this, the safety car will be in this lap. Um, it can't finish under safety car. I don't think the game allows it. As far as I'm aware, it's two laps of, uh, of full racing have to happen. Uh, a few drivers, interestingly, coming into the pits as well. Agent box. I think Matty C boxed as well. A very, very intriguing calls from there. I don't think they're, they're going to have to drive to catch up here. It, this could be from agent right now this he's going to catch up to the pack here this could get for both agent and matty c this could be slightly inspiring decisions here matty c's got a bit of work to do to catch up but i, th I think he's going to do it certainly before the safety car comes in and he's going to be on brand new softs as is agent and we're going to get two laps Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. okay th th this could get spicy look this is the point where i'm going to obviously remind drivers we want to see really really good side by side aggressive racing but look we want to make sure that it is fair that it is sensible that it is professional that you know the standards that we set here in the blue fox f1 league and we are right the safety car is in this lap the rule on this game or the way that it's set up is two full laps of a uh, of full green flag racing have to happen at the end any accidents that take place at this point there will be no safety car no yellows it will be cleared almost instantaneously so it is going to end up being a a two lap shootout and as far as i'm concerned all eyes are going to stand on agent and matty c not to mention rob on medium tires probably having a little bit more grip oh there's some pressure here we're underway. Look how close it is here. Rob's going to get the inside line, I think. Down into turn one. Oh, it's close. It's close, but it's fair. It's wheel rubbing. But rubbing is racing. He's going to get it on in th ah, into turn two. Oh, he gets it done. I told you those mediums that were going to do a decent job. Meanwhile, I think Agent has got the job done on Ultra as well. This is going to be an unbelievably intense two laps here so hold on to your seat sit yourself down because i'm expecting a few changes of position to be happening here as we said all eyes on agent and matty c who have the superior grip because they pitted and put on brand new soft tires agent p4 matty c p5 gets it done on callum ultra who now moves down to p6 this decision may well bear fruit agent is going to be starting to hunt down stacks who i think has had an act he said i think he's got some damage he does oh my god and it's all gone wrong he got it wrong through the castle section he got it wrong through the castle section Huge understeer, he's hitting the wall. He, oh, he's trying desperately to hold on. Agent, I think, has got damage. It's cost Agent It's cost Agent a position as well. Sterling now up into P5. Ultra, the front wing is fine. He's P4. Matty C 
is up into, into to P3. We're going into the final lap. Is he going to be able to mount a bit of a charge on Rob in P2? Tempo, meanwhile, has had a blistering start. Finds himself 1.8 seconds ahead. He's looking likely that he's going to be able to hold on. DRS is now enabled for this final lap. Goodness me, strap in. Agent, he's got the wing damage, but knowing him, he's going to go heavily down on that differential. The grip in that car should save him. I think he's going to have an opportunity on Sterling somewhere. The pressure that Sterling's going to be feeling here. Oh, is that Ultra having a, Ultra having a little bit of a look? Oh, it's a big, big, that's a crazy move from Agent on Sterling. But he gets it done. He gets alongside. He earns the space. Sterling fantastically, fantastically well driven through that corner to create some great, great racing. Goodness me, that gap now 1.5, 1.6 seconds. Tempo just needs to hold on. Do the basics right. Keep it clean through Castle. Which, oh, he almost hits the wall. That was going to be a lot. That was far too close for comfort for a man that is leading this Grand Prix. Rob, what a recovery drive considering the time penalty that he has had. But Matty C is not giving up. That Mercedes is pretty much pushing him along in these final few corners. Is it going to be enough? He's got a huge amount of battery. Rob has kind of, is pretty much similar. But Matty C is going to have the DRS. So is Agent. Ultra is going to miss out as well. So Matty C and Agent, I think, are the two drivers that with the battery and with the DRS may get an overtake done. We'll have a look at Matty C. Is he going to get it done? He's in the slipstream. It could be on the line. Oh, he does. Agent as well. Oh, my goodness gracious me. What, a, what an end. It literally came down to the wire. It literally came down to the final straight to decide some of those positions. Goodness gracious me. Tempo then, your Grand Prix winner here in Baku. A fantastic drive for him on those softs. Macy on the line. Look at that gap. 0.055. The barest of margins to sneak into P2. Rob. What a drive, given the time penalties, what a performance on those medium tyres as well. He really made that final stick, stint count to grab himself a podium. Agent, again, P4, with what happened with Snacks, goodness me, what kind of could have been there? But Sterling, going to be very happy with himself there.